Hello, this is Matthew Marco with AgroMapping.com, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Bioshock Infinite. Or, er, Infinite! Bioshock 2! Man, I am, uh, failing all up and down. We've got a big sister coming, which is why I was distracted enough to not remember what I was doing. after a few days off, uh, which is obviously a terrible way to play this. Oh, that's gross. Um, so, I want to take some time. Do I have a little sister on me? No, I don't. I'm already back up to all the health kits. Cool. Oh, I hear a big daddy. I needed is uh I need a little sister. Um, first things first, let's switch to a gun that actually has ammo. Um, anyway, um, I want to take some time today to talk about how I feel about this game so far, because I'm kind of conflicted about a little bit of it. Uh, I, I really enjoy it in the broad strokes. Uh, I think the stuff they've done to the combat is really interesting, specifically, but, uh... Oh. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him. And then let him have it. Okay. Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. So I have a dash, right? It's a right trigger holding B. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Okay. That's not messing around. Um, I I feel like the first area we were in, which was much more overgrown with like the underwater segments, was by and large a more interesting area. Um, 
Here, father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. We don't need telekinesis. Hypnotize enemies, that's cool. Um, I like the organic stuff because I felt like it was really an interesting expression of this uh, this world. Um, this stuff has been okay, but it all feels kind of, uh... Beef? Oh, they're just gonna kill each other. Can I film that? Um, this stuff all feels very artificial in, like, a way that's deliberate. I'm not claiming that it isn't. It's clear that this stuff exists to be, like, this parody of life on the surface. Uh, not, uh, because it all has kind of this Disneyland sheen to it. Um, it all just seems kind of false in this uh, very specific way that I, I would describe as like a uh, oh weapon upgrade station definitely shotguns um that seems to me like an amusement park of sorts and I, I assume that's deliberate it makes sense in the fiction uh, because you've created this space that is like rebelling against like normal America as people were living in it, but it also still is normal America. Uh, did not have come. Okay, noted. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown, and everybody panics, pulls their money out of the banks, a whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold, and maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? Um, sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Got distracted. There's a big daddy around here that I want to get the little sister off of. Um... Um, but yeah, it's, it's because this space feels so false. I mean, it, it's in keeping with the rest of the game, but I find it less interesting to explore. I liked the spaces that were overgrown and overrun and felt very isolated. Uh, they were way more interesting, by and large. Why don't you have a little sister? We need sisters. I'm low on sisters. Please remedy. Please. There's still little sisters in here, right? Uh, oh, they're marked on the map, right. Right now, it doesn't look like there are any little sisters on the map. Hmm. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, right trigger to upper floor. Yeah, there's nothing. No little sisters. No little sisters. Okay. 
Uh, you don't have to worry about this guy. I'm just gonna let him be. Uh, let's hope we got everything. Can I get through? Thanks. Um. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Hmm. We'll buy a remote hack dart, sure. But, um, you know, those organic spaces I felt were more interesting because they're so out of keeping with how this game has presented itself and how its prequel presented itself. These are artificial and uncomfortable and this strange parody of the things they're meant to represent. And that's smart. I'm not going to claim that it's not. Uh, that would be silly. Uh, because what it actually is is... You're just going to run through this fire. What it actually represents, then, is a justification for how these very uh, traditional spaces, like these living quarters and these shops, can become video game arenas because they all already have this inherent falsehood to them. Uh, it was built into the design. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was rude. Um, and that that works for it. The the general sense of unease and unreality to it all, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily. Like, it's still an unreality. I, f I find it still disconnecting, even if that disconnection is intentional. Uh, neither here nor there. Um, it's just a matter of preference, I think, really. Because ultimately, it is effective in what it's trying to do. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Thanks, I will. Did it say we could search this? Oh, wow. I'll take the money. Sure. Oh, there's a big daddy behind there. Bling B to do a drill dash. So. Cool. That was great. Oh. That'll be very handy. Um. Oh, here we go. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um. Because I feel like that first part was the part that was more Metroid Prime. So of course I was going to like it more. That's just who I am and where my uh, reclutees lie in terms of how I feel about these games. Didn't I used to be able to hold nine of these? Am I... Is there a difference between the remote hack dart? Oh wow, okay. I, f I understand. The auto hack, I assume, does all work for me. Which is cool, don't get me wrong. Uh, less useful. I don't mind the hack mini game at all, so it's not a big deal if you want me to press the button because the button's really easy to press, you know. There's a camera somewhere. I like how big this area is. I 
does legitimately feel like a living space. this game to give me a thing to complain about because I don't appreciate Grace Holloway being like the er mammy of this world. Uh, if you don't know like a mammy is a traditional like archetype of black characters in American fiction uh, that came out of black women as house slaves who would like raise children uh, like the wise woman who the, you know, white, uh, household, like, lady of the house gives her children to to raise with all of her folk Away! wisdom. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it is a trope. It's a trope that exists all over the place. But that doesn't make it cool. Uh, and I think there's more interesting things to be done with the idea of Rapture was this place where they exported all of this labor, and it was often the people who were disenfranchised, uh, be it uh, black people in the 50s or I mean it could have been any minority it could have been the poor it could have been immigrants uh, I guess there probably wasn't a ton of immigrants in 1950s the same way there were the immigrants in Bioshock Infinite times uh, where you had a tradition of people like building railroads and whatnot now Gracie was on the top floor get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key this is terrifying. I don't want to go through all this. I didn't sign up for a horror game, I signed up for Bioshock. Um, if you look at what Infinite did with the, kind of this same character archetype, and it didn't do it well, there's a lot of problems with Infinite, but the idea that you have this imported workforce that then rebels could be done here, and uh, it's sad that instead they went for something that leans heavier into the kind of tropes uh, of these kind of spaces and oh she's gonna be a bad guy because she cares so much about raising this uh this daughter that wasn't hers Don't touch me. and that's fine in and of itself is like a character motivation except given the dynamics of these two characters it becomes something that leans into traditional tropes of uh these archetypes and that's the that's a thing worthy of critique um not to say it can't be done well, just to say that it's a uh, thing with problems. Yeah, I'll take the money. I see a shadow moving. Snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. It's especially problematic when this character is leaning so heavily into like these folksy southern colloquialisms when the rest of these characters all speak like they fell out of, uh, well, I mean, Ayn Rand. Uh, yeah, her otherness is pretty resolute in the narrative. Uh, I 
doubt we're going to spend enough time with her to get any sense of her as a tragic figure in this uh, narrative. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'd, be, I'd love to be wrong. Don't get me wrong. That would be fantastic. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Hmm. Weird. I don't quite understand the mechanics of what I can and what I can't destroy. It seems really gated in a way that is not clear or fun. Oh, I didn't see that hole. It's really upsetting that I didn't see this giant hole. Um, let's use the Eve Hypo so we can... can pick that up and feel okay about ourselves going into the next area. Oh yeah, we definitely want that. path around the back? Yep, that's not it. I'm, uh, disappointed that it doesn't seem like that actually is all that useful outside of the very scripted areas where it is a thing that you can use. Where'd that guy go? I Ridiculous. Right, that'll help. Man, these shotguns are super cool. I like a good shotgun in a game, I do. I'll be interested to see how the race stuff is going forward, because I know that uh, Minerva's Den is specifically about race in a way that these games are not. Hmm. Nice, I guess. Was this going to be the way around? Oh, goodness. Um. Right. <laughs> care of. I may be hungry, but i my Watching you hurt shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my jaw where I can. Worked. Part of the people. Weapon upgrades. I get shotgun. Rivet heat gun. Shotgun. Yeah, we've been leaning into these. Let's uh, do that. We got a we got an achievement for that. So, hooray! Cool. I like a good research bonus. This is still my home. Out. I'm not speaking to you. Make it stop. Take it. Yeah, that works. Take it all. Freezing drill. 
Um, Eve Saver, Eve Link, Shorten Alarms. I don't really. Get out of my home! No shadows no. won't hide us! Ridiculous! Taking pictures is uh, apparently what we do now. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. One people, one cause. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. I don't think and that's true. And as for you, Tin Daddy, you're dying alone. I don't think any of that is actually supported by the fiction here. Hmm. Pack this first. Heavy rivets. We'll buy some more of those. Don't really care about that. I want to each of those. I think we're doing okay with the rivets. So, this way? Oh yeah, that's definitely the way. So let's go up that uh, staircase first. Then. See where that gets us. I bet it gets us to a locked door. Be my guess. There's a bunch of items. That's cool. Black Dream Film Ad. Experimental Film. From Xander Cohen. I heard someone like an audio clip breaking. Now, I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to get nervous because I think we're near the end of this area. I assume there's going to be some sort of boss fight coming up. Um. And we're near the end of the episode, so I don't know quite what I'm going to call it yet. Oh, sure, because that's horrifying. Ugh. This game's propensity for giving you really awful uh, moments in its environmental storytelling is still really strong. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bum! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> so the implication seems to be that things fell apart under Ryan. And then Lamb put everyone back together again, more or less. It's <laughs> like a post-Ryan organizational thing. I mean, that's cool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, that everything. Okay, so let's get this uh, safe packed up. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh hi. Oops. I shouldn't waste those on that. Oh, no money. Useless. Absolutely useless. Another day waiting for Harry to come home. I told him not to speak up against Mr. Ryan's policies, and now he's missing. Just never came home. I went by the bookstore, and all his books are gone, too. I don't know what to do. Now I have to deal with that awful Sinclair just to have a roof over my head. One more. No, 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 come back. Oh. That works. Fifty dollars? That guy's loaded. Alright. We are... I think more or less done searching these areas, so uh, I think we'll call it this episode here. Nothing out that window, that's really disappointing. Because so far these windows have been really stellar. Uh, the game's got good, uh, I guess you'd call it a skybox. Even if it doesn't really apply here. Um, but uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, come back next time for more Bioshock 2. Check uh, if you want more from me, you can go to abnormalmapping.com or abnormal mapping on iTunes, because uh, primarily I'm a podcast. Uh, thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.